Hello students of Corp Academy Leeds, my name is Mr Day and I am one of your English teachers. My job in this video is to help you log on to and use Google Classrooms. This virus has had a huge impact on the way that we learn and the way that we teach. We can't control that. But what we can control is how prepared we are to access opportunities that are there for us to take advantage of if we work hard. We are using technology like we've never used it before to help you learn and to help you continue your education and your progress whilst you're not in school. In this video I'm going to help you log on to and use Google Classrooms so that if you want to learn there is opportunity there for you to access the platform, you can talk to your teachers and you can submit work to them for them to look at. You can also contact your teacher if you're stuck or if you want some extra support. I hope you enjoy this video and find it useful and that it will help you continue your learning whilst you're at home. I've opened Google and in the search bar I've typed in Google Classroom. You can see the results that come up here. The second one down says Google Classroom. I click on this and it takes me through to a website where I'm needed to put in an email address. The email address that you need to put in starts with a number. It will be 16 if you are in year 11 because that was the year that you came to the academy. If you're in year 10 it's 17, year 9 it's 18, year 8 it would be 19 and year 7 it's 20 because you started just last year. So you put that number first, that's the beginning of your email address. I'm going to imagine I'm a year 7 student called Muhammad Khan. My first initial is M and my surname is Khan. So I put 20 because I'm a year 7 student that started in 2020. My first name is Muhammad so I put the M and then I put my surname Khan and I finish my email address at coopleads.co.uk. I then click next. I'm then needing to put in my password. My password and the default password for year 7 students logging on to this is MONDAY01 but with a capital M. I don't make, need to make sure that caps lock is off but in order to get a capital letter as you can see the difference here between a small M and a capital M is I hold the shift key. If I hold the shift key and press M it gives me a capital I can then do all the rest in lowercase letters with the numbers 01 after. I need to make sure that I haven't got caps lock on, that I only use shift for the capital letter and that I don't use any spaces. This message should come up to which I can now click accept. It will then ask if you're using this feature for the first time for you to create a new password. You will need to choose a password of your own. Make sure it is the same both times that you don't accidentally press caps lock or shift or spacebar and that all of your letters and numbers are the same in both boxes. It will then let you log in. I'm showing you my teacher view but it's similar for you as students. I can see here all the classes that I teach. You will see all the classes that you have as a student. I click on one to show you an example. In the classroom there is a stream where students and staff can post messages. You can see here I've posted one for my year 11 students and I've attached some files. If you click on one of those files that's been attached to the message from your teacher you'll be able to see that some work has been set for you. I can now give this the option to be opened in Google Docs. If you want to complete the work please don't do it on the Google document because it will change the document for everybody. What you need to do is download your own version to save to your own computer to do the work. So if you press file and download you can then see there's an option to download it as a Microsoft Word document. I click on that and you can see that it's already dropped it down to the bottom and it's downloading a copy of that file to my computer. If I edit this file then it will not change it for everyone and I can save my own version. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to open with Microsoft Word and then I will be able to do my own edits on the computer and not change the file for anybody else.
When Microsoft Word opens, you will need to click the button at the top that says enable editing in order for you to be able to complete the work and make changes to the document. So I click on that button at the top. I then have the opportunity to edit the document and complete the work. So I'll do one brief example here for you just to see. There's a question here about what parts are there to a story. I know that the first section of a story is my introduction. So I'm going to type the word introduction underneath to give myself an answer to that question. Now that I've changed the document and I've added an answer, when you've completed all of your work, you can save a version of this document to your own device and then you can upload it back to Google Classroom. I'll show you how to do this in a moment. But I press save as and I look for a place that I know is safe on my computer somewhere I know that I'm going to be able to find the file again. So I click on browse and I'm going to find a folder. In fact, I've already made a folder that I'm going to save this document in. I can change the name of the document if I want to, but I've made a folder on my desktop called resources. And that's where I'm going to save this document. If I want to change the name, then I can. But in my resources folder, I'm going to click save and it will then save a copy of this document for me to be able to keep editing if I want to or upload back to Google Classrooms to show my teacher if I'm a student that I've done the work. So there's my document, it's saved. And then I can go back into Google Classrooms once I've finished. I can type a message in the stream to my teacher. If you use the drop down menus just above, you can choose who you want the message to go to. So you could pick your, your teacher and then you're going to add a file. If you press that, it will open this window. You can press browse and then you can look on your computer for where you have saved the file. I double click on that file because that's the one I want to share with my teacher. I can double click on that and then it will add it to the post. And once I'm happy with my message, with my file and with the fact that the uh, message is only going to the people that I'm choosing, I can then press post <clears throat> and it will send it. And that is how I can use Google Classroom to log in, download work, edit it, and then send it back to my teacher. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found it useful and that it's a little bit clearer for you now as to how you can log on to and use Google Classrooms to further your progress whilst you're not in the building. If you are stuck or you need some extra support with the work or you're having trouble logging on, please reach out to somebody. Send an email to one of your teachers or contact the school and we will be able to help you get going. Until the next time that we see you in the building and that we are able to learn together as we're used to, we hope you stay safe, look after yourself and your families and that you are able to learn as effectively as possible and we will do everything that we can to help you with that. Until next time, stay safe, take care and goodbye for now.